As we begin to start our day, an Iowa Olympian is going for gold. Urbandale native Carissa Schweitzer will race in the women's 5,000 meter final in a little more than an hour. WHO 13's Jody Long joins us live from West Des Moines. She's at Wellman's Pub where there is a Schweitzer watch party going on. Good morning, Jody. Yeah, we are in the Team USA spirit this morning, Andy, here at Wellman's Pub in West Des Moines. The place is now decked out uh, in patriotic colors. We have some flags decorating the place. Some of Carissa's friends and family are here. There's even a, a cardboard cutout of Carissa, too. I'm joined with Carissa's younger sister, Kelsey, who is also a D1 athlete at Mizzou. And um, Kelsey, you had a chance to talk with Carissa after Friday's preliminary race. How was she feeling after that race heading into, into today's finals? Yeah, um, she basically told me she is ready for the final and how competitive that race was. Mm -hmm. It was just good practice for what she's going to experience today. And I think she's excited to compete against the same people and have that same experience. Yeah, that was an extremely fast heat. She placed seventh in that uh, qualifying round to compete today but you know your sister yes. more you know better than most of us do what do you watch for on race day and how do you know when she's really in the zone yeah. zeroed in on that race um especially during trials i just kept noticing her like sweat like wiping her sweat i'm like <laughs> she's too relaxed like she's she's comfortable she is just annoyed with her sweat like she is ready and she actually like She's so weird to watch because she does actually better when she's on, like redlining. Like that's when she just accelerates and beats everyone else because everyone else is slowly dying, mm -hmm. but she's still out there competing the yeah. same as if she wasn't going that fast. Yeah, you heard it from her sister. She's kind of weird to watch when she <laughs> runs sometime. Only a sister can say that. Now, Kelsey. Uh, Talk about game or race day rituals for Carissa. Does she do anything special to get ready for the big race? Um, well, you, everyone knows she always braids her hair the same, but I feel like that, in a way, kind of calms her down. The night before, she'll make sure she always has pasta, and two nights out, she'll have some kind of steak or big protein, but other than that, she likes to keep her rituals a little bit on the, the down low. Doesn't, doesn't like to tell everyone what she does race day. Okay, so I'm wondering if there is like an Olive Garden in Tokyo where she can get that pasta carb. I, I hope, hope so. she had yes, that I last night. So. Yes. The number of times we went to Olive Garden with her is crazy. <laughs> Talk about your nerves as we are just a few hours out from this big uh, medal race. Yeah, um, definitely because it's a morning race. I could not sleep very well last night, but we're all nervous for her, but more excited than anything. Oh yeah, we are so excited to cheer on Carissa as she legit has a chance for gold. We are so excited for her as she competes between 7.30 and 7.45 uh, this morning. Uh, that's late in the evening in Tokyo. There are a few ways you can watch Carissa's race. You can tune in on Peacock, which is NBC's streaming service. You can also log on to NBCOlympics.com, or you can download the NBC Sports app. So plenty of ways to cheer on our hometown girl, Andy. Watch them all make uh, running 5,000 meters somehow look easy. It is absolutely not. And then, of course, later on in the week, it'll go up to 10,000 meters. <laughs> And uh, that'll really be something to watch. Okay, so much going on. Just starting bright and early this morning. Thank you, Jody. She's out at uh, Wellman's in West Des Moines. It's a private party there for the Schweitzer uh, family and friends. And uh, I'm sure that's going to be quite a day for them, though. They'll never forget it.